hello so in this lecture so we have a problem for programming interview that is in order tree traversal or in order binary tree traversal so let's see what is the code like so in order tree traversal for that we need so this is the function if you see so we have in order function here and we see that we have struct node star node which is we point pass the pointer to the root and here we see that if the node is not null then what it does is it recursively calls itself so because a tree is in fact kind of it is constructed using recursion and when we have to traverse also so we have to use recursion so let's see with an example let's see say our binary tree is 20 40 10 15 5 80 and 30 so let's say this is our tree and we want to do our binary tree traversal so what happens is that first when we call in order with the root as the node so what will happen is that we will see so root is not null so we will go and root is not null so we will call in order node left so again we are passing pointer to this so in order node left means we go to 10 now when this is called so let's say we call with in order node left so now we are at this node and now again so node is not null so again we move to this line and in order node left will now take us to node 5 so let's see now so node 5 again when this is the pointer so node is not null and when again we do in order node left so now node left of 5 is null and so if they check if node so not null so it is not true it returns back here again and now it prints the node data which is 5 and then it does in order node right so which is null and so it is null node right is null so it returns back here and now because this whole function for node 5 all these three lines have been executed so it returns back to node 10 and at node 10 we had just executed in order node left so now what we do is that we print data 10 and then do in order node right so we come here and if we check so now we are at node 15 so node 15 is not null so we do in order node left which is null it returns back here and then again it prints the data 15 it goes to in order node right which is null it returns back here and at 15 as both in order node left print and in order node right are done so it goes back to node 10 and at node 10 also every things have been executed so it goes back to node 20 or the root so at node 20 it has executed in order node left so now it writes prints the value 20 goes to in order node right which goes to 40 now at line 40 again it checks if node is null it is not null so it goes to in order node left and what happens is node left is 30 it is not null so we see that it goes to 30 30 is not null so again it passes node left which is null for this one it prints 30 it goes to node right which is null it comes back here again and now at node 30 everything is done so it goes to back to node 40 which was its parent and from where it was called so at node 40 now it prints the value 40 and then now only one line was not executed which was in order node right it goes here 
now this node is not null it goes to in order node left which is null it prints the value 80 and then it goes to the right child it's null it comes back to 80 from 80 it, everything is executed it goes to 40 at 40 all the lines are executed it goes back to 20 which is the root and all the recursion has finished so it is done so this was about in order traversal so now let's just check with the code if this thing is happening so we come to a tree so we see that we are at a tree so we insert 10 first then we insert a 20 here we insert a 5 so it comes to the left we come and insert 2 and we insert a 15 so 15 will be inserted here so now if we do an in order traversal so we saw that in order traversal of a binary search tree so it gives data in ascending order so we will get 2 5 10 15 and 20 so let's see with the code if this is happening so we try to execute this so we build the code and then what we do is that let's step into the code so we step into the code we insert all the nodes we will not as we have already seen this in a previous lecture so we will not look at the insert function but after this line we know that we already have a tree that was shown previously so now we will enter the in order with root we go here and we see now that the node with root is not null so it goes to in order node is not null so it goes to in order node left and we see that because the root was 20 and then node left was 5 so it again moves inside comes here node is not null so it moves there in order here again and it goes back here so it goes again in order and now it should be i think null the node is null it returns back and let's see something is printed so we see inserted node with data 15 so all the nodes have been inserted and then we come back so first printf is done so which is node data 2 is printed and then it goes to node right which again would be null so it moves inside their node is null so it comes back so it goes and now it prints the value which is 5 so node data is 5 is printed and then now it goes to print f node data so node data is now 10 for the root so that is printed so now it should go to the right child so which was 20 so it moves there we move inside node is not null it is 20 so it goes inside and now the child of left child of 20 is 15 so it again moves inside node is not null now and it goes to in order node left node left and it's so let's see what it does it prints the value 15 and then it goes and comes back at 20 it is there it prints the value 20 and now the right hand child is null so it moves it is null it returns back and it returns to zero so now the code has ended so this is the what is the print is there so no data is 2 5 no data is 10 so we see everything is in ascending order so this was about in order traversal if you like then please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also look at all these lectures at www.sorofschool.org. Thanks a lot.